to have you join us again on the newsroom. I am Simisola Adigu. Governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akiridolu, has extended the mourning period in the state to Wednesday, June 15. This was contained in a statement signed by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Richard Olatunde, who said the extension is sequel to the resolution of the Southwest Governors Forum to observe a three-day mourning period. Akiridolu also expressed appreciation to the governors in the Southwest for the massive love and, and cooperation shown since the horrendous attack in Owo. The All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate for Latinubu has distanced himself from a purported 2023 campaign manifesto in circulation. Tinubu's denial was contained in a statement signed by the Director of Media and Communications, Tinubu Campaign Organization, Bayo Ononuga, on Sunday. He explained that the document in circulation was a mere draft proposal and suggestions on the programs he would implement if elected president. He assured that his manifesto will be a more serious document than the one in circulation. The resident electoral commissioner for Akwaibom State has said that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the state is not aware of the June 9 rerun primary that led to the emergence of Senator Godswill Akpabio as the All Progressives Congress flag bearer for Akwaibom Northwest Senatorial District. This was coming shortly after he had written to the commission's headquarters in Abuja, stating that there was no APC governorship candidate for Akwaibom State. Stephen Ntutepo, led chairman of the party, had while citing security infractions in the May 27 APC primary in the district, claimed he was directed to conduct a rerun primary by the national headquarters of the party on June 9, 2022. A 42-year-old Zimbabwean man has appeared in court on allegations of selling COVID-19 test kits believed to have been stolen. It is suspected that the kits were either stolen from local hospitals or were smuggled into Zimbabwe. According to the state, the test kits were either procured by the government or were donated to the country by the donor community to provide free tests for COVID-19. However, the accused, Leon Chepepera, has pleaded not guilty to possessing stolen property when he appeared before regional magistrates. In business, recent report by the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, has shown that 32 states in Nigeria, including Rivers, Kaduna, and Kaduna rather, did not attract any foreign investment in the first quarter of 2022. The NBS report also revealed that only Lagos, Oyo, Katsina, a number of states, and the Federal Capital Territory attracted investment during the period. According to the NBS, Nigerian capital importation, the total value of capital imported into Nigeria is the first quarter in the first quarter of 2022 stood at $1.6 billion from $2.2 billion in the preceding quarter, showing a decrease of 28.09%. Pope Francis has apologized to the Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan for postponing his July visits to the two countries indefinitely for health reasons. However, the Vatican announced the postponement on Friday due to, due to the 85-year-old Pontus knee problem. He had planned to visit the DR Congo cities of Kinshasa and Goma on 2 and 5 July before traveling to the South Sudanese capital, Juba, for a two-day trip. Daniel Medvedev returned to the top of rankings on Monday ahead of Alexander Zverev with Novak Djokovic slipping out of the top two for the first time in nearly four years. The 26-year-old Russian briefly occupied the number one spot for two weeks at the end of February and the beginning of March. It is the first time since October 2018 that Djokovic is not in the top two. That's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I'm Simisola Adibun.